Now, so as we come down here, I want to make his arms visibly wobblier, right? It makes it look more, see that? It just makes it feel a little bit more energetic. And then as they come down, I want to delay them a little bit. Right? So when he does this, his arms are going down to feel like he's just about to jump. And then we can make them dragging behind. And then this will make it look like as he's in the air, his arms are wobbling around. And we can make it still go up as he is going down. Even here, it doesn't matter. You can put a frame between two frames. Don't be, not everything has to be smoothly done by Maya. You can do it yourself, right? So I'm just dragging his arms up. There is no mystery to animation. It's, it's about common sense. It's about what happens in real life that you just treat. Um, you know, you, you, you just observe and learn how things work. Okay, so we need more time here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all the keys, just move it forward a bit. And let's let's work on the landing now. So one thing you notice here, he kind of comes down softly, doesn't he, right? So as move this forward and select all the keys and put okay so what we want to do is make him land so I'm gonna add a key on frame 32 and here I'm gonna drop him down his arms could still be coming following him from, from the, 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 the peak of the jump at the top. He goes up. And he's back down here. So we're going to make it the down here to be a little bit smoother as well. So instead of it just bouncing like that, he kind of lands. And then maybe around here, He's still kind of a bit down there, and now the arms have dropped. Okay, select everything, put a key there, and there we have our landing. Now let's play around with a couple of things, right? So first thing, there's this little buggy thing here that's happening with the elbow, so just shift it out. And let's do the same thing here so that we have a just simpler animation. So he kind of goes like that, his arms switch, they start to fall with him, and it's all about seeing what would naturally happen, right? So now the arms drop. Let's add a bit more time, and let's now just make him sort of settle, right? Because you see he kind of just comes to a stop suddenly. So let's just select everything, and we'll go maybe to frame 38. And all I'm going to do is a very small thing. Notice, just notice how small it is by looking at how the changes around the edges. I'm just going to grab it and just go like that, just a tiny bit. That's enough. And just move the arms a little bit, move the arms a little bit, and hit S. Now that's going to make him look settled. You see that? So if we play it back now, see that? Okay, let's add a few more things to it to make it even more interesting. So up here we've got that squash and stretch control, remember? Let's play with that. 
let's go here and then sort of as he comes down let's squash him between 10 and 15 just so that it feels more you know organic in a sense and since he's starting to come out of it let's keep him a little bit squashed and then maybe here on between them so between 17 and 19 let's stretch him out and then on 19 he's kind of stretched right so he's boing up in the air and then he kind of comes back to his normal shape but it happens a bit too quick for me and you can see here the edge look at look at how he quickly bumps bounces back right so we don't want that we want it to be smoother so let's just drag it out a bit see like that and then he starts to come down maybe we can stretch him out a bit and then here he's a bit stretched because he's falling but then he lands and we can squash him and then on 32 we can squash him a bit and then on 38 he's back to his normal shape it'll be fun if you put this in the middle as well if you stretch him out here pull his arms up because then it'll make him look like he's kind of just bouncing a bit so that's pretty easy and you know you've done your very first jump animation so it's not that hard if you just you know just forget about the terminology for a while I know that everybody talks about it I know that it's, there's like 12 principles of animation you know all these things but it prevents you from jumping in and starting to work with the character if you start playing around with the character then it's gonna free you from worrying about animating bouncing balls and flower sacks and um, ropes and you know all these other things pendulums they do practice these things and they do help in a certain way but they don't re they don't relate straight into a character so it makes it easier if you just start with a character you know there's no point wasting time so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna speed this part up and I'm gonna just tweak this and I'm gonna show you how even with this framework that we have here we can really push this animation and make it really nice nice and stylized
So there you have it. You know, don't be limited by what you think you can do, what you can't do. Just go for it. Just have fun. Just play with it. He's a nice little simple character.